the country run routine background checks before they hire you. That's right. For some minor criminal offenses could keep them from higher paying jobs. But now Missouri lawmakers are looking at ways to change that. I'm new here at 530. First Lord Force Dan Broxton is asking what the proposals could do for workers and for the state of Missouri. About 22 years ago, I was in my fiance and had got into an altercation and things went kind of crazy. I went to jail for it. Percy Calicut believes his criminal past shouldn't hold him back from getting another job. Calicut is a machine operator at Bachman Machine Company in St. Louis. I've been down here 19 years. He said employers rejected him when he tried to get other jobs. He thinks it's because of his criminal record. In the state of Missouri, when we talk about expungement, we're talking about record sealing rather than record clearing. A group of lawmakers from both sides of the aisle currently have bills waiting to be heard in Jefferson City. More or less, all bills make it easier for convicted felons to get some minor misdemeanors and nonviolent felonies sealed. They're not so much focused on expanding who qualifies for expungement, but making it a process uh, that anyone that you know has a record that meets the requirements for expungement is able to access it, not just people with money and means. Gwen Smith-Moore is part of an initiative aiming to help get more than a half million qualified Missourians' records expunged. Smith-Moore says only 1% of those who qualify actually get their minor criminal records sealed, but the courts still have access to those records. But somebody conducting a background check or somebody, you know, putting your name into CaseNet um, would not be able to, to access that. Prosecutors can argue against expungement, but Smith Moore says most felons have to hire lawyers to even initiate the process. But if one of these bills is passed, then the state would do most of the legwork expunging records. That held over my head. Calicut says he is still with the woman he had that incident with decades ago. Because we've been married for 21 years. He hopes new legislation can help him reach new heights, even at 53 years old. Some of these bills will be debated in several committees next week. In St. Louis, Dion Broxton, First Alert 4.